Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Rashid Al Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with Do Now. I have an electron here. I have a proton over here. All right, so I have an electron, I have a proton. What I have, I have a test charge in the middle. So this is a test charge. All right, so I'm gonna put four different location. I'm gonna call it location A, location B, location C, and location D. All right, now my question is, which way this check charge is gonna move? Is it gonna move to location A, location B, location C, or location D? And pause your video and Try yourself. Now pause the video and try your own. So it's gonna move to, of course, the location. Let's see. So today we're gonna start a new topic and that is electricity and atom. We're gonna make a relationship between electricity. It's not an obvious relationship. It took millions of years for people to understand the relationship between electricity and atom. Now we know that there is a relationship between electricity and atom. In fact, we know that electricity, atom is the home of electricity, meaning that when you open the electron or when you open the atom, what do you see? You see electron and proton, two charges, all right? But it took human millions of years. And uh, let's see, uh, uh, let's see the timeline. Let's start with um, uh, 2600 years ago, about uh, well, 6000 BC exactly, and the person Thales. We take, or we talk about it. Uh, Thales uh, took an ember. He uh, used to rub the amber with a piece of cloth. He charged the amber and he used the amber to uh, demonstrate uh, the static electricity. Um, the next big thing is the atom. Concept of atom, our, our topic is the relationship between atom and electricity and that's, well, that's where we are heading to. 2400 years ago and his name is Democritus. What Democritus do in, uh, in Athens, he took an apple and he took a knife, he started cutting the apple, he cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, keep cutting it until he couldn't cut it anymore. He took the smallest piece of Apple, he call it atom, meaning you cannot cut it anymore. So there you go, he gave the definition of atom, meaning that atom is the building block of everything. Keep in mind, we are 2400 years ago. Now I'm gonna take you to 1750. Charles all right, charges. So you had uh, understanding of a steady electricity, then atom, then charges. Of course, Ben Franklin. Uh, oh, well, um, um, uh, charges, 1750, uh, Ben Franklin. All right. Uh, now, the next big thing was, um, next big thing was, um, Next big thing was uh, uh, Dalton. Dalton gave us uh, the concept of element. John Dalton, element. Um, about 1795, John Dalton. So what Dalton did, he gave us the, what Democritus did, he gave us the idea of atom. And Dalton did give us the idea of element. Uh, Democritus did not understand that 
Democrats has thought only they are one type of atom, okay? The Dalton realized that there are more than one types of atoms. Now we know that there are 118 different types of atoms. So elements is nothing but the list of atoms. Next big thing is um, force, electric force. And then that happened 1805. And the name is Charles Coulomb. Charles Coulomb. All right, so what is the next big thing happened? Number six, the discovery of electron. Jesse Thompson, so 1897, uh, Jesse Thompson. Jesse Thompson discovered an electron inside the atom, telling us that atom is not the, as Democrat has said, is not the smallest thing in the universe. There is something smaller than atom. Jesse Thompson called it electron. Now, that's not, uh, that's not it. That's not it. What next? The next thing is uh, Rutherford. Rutherford said, well, not only atom is the end of the history, not even electron is the end of the history. There is something inside the atom and he call it, of course, proton, proton. All right, so proton, and it was 1912 and Rutherford, Arnes, Unless Rutherford, he discovered it. Now, number eight. Okay, that's fine. Electron and photon makes an atom. Of course, if you take if you take hydrogen, for example, and if you draw hydrogen plus and minus, that makes a nice atom. <laughs> you don't need a neutron, so to speak. You don't need neutron. You have a, a proton, you have an electron. That makes it a nice hydrogen atom. But Dalton said there are more than one type of atom, okay? What about helium? What about lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and so on? You cannot have a carbon without neutral in the nucleus. There would be so much repulsiveness inside and the atom won't be sterile. So that takes us to Chadwick. Nineteen thirty two and Chadwick. Chadwick discovered what did he discover? He discovered neutron inside the atom, of course. Now we know that the atom is the building block of matter. Atom is the building block of matter. So let's talk about that for a second. Since atom is the building block of matter, the atom is the building block of matter. Now let's then break it down. There are two types of matter, hadrons and leptons. Okay, so leptons are electrons. There are two types of hadrons, baryons and mesons. All right, there are baryons, if you break it down, you get three quark. And the mesons, if you break it down, you get quark or anti-quark. Now, the baryons are actually, leptons are electron baryons is protons and neutrons. And neutrons. What is protons? Protons are up, up, down up, 
up quark, up quark, and down quark. All right. So now that takes us to our last problem, and that is uh, an exist list. So I'm going to take you right to the exist list. Let's finish today's remote learning with an exit slip. So protons and neutrons are example. Now pause the video and try your own. Uh, is it an example of hadrons? No. Of course not, because hadrons can be mesons, and mesons can be quark and anti-quark. No. Protons and neutrons are example of leptons. Of course not. Lepton, as I said, that leptons is electron. Of course not. Protons and neutrons are example of mesons. Of course not. Mesons may of quark or anti-quark. No. All right, so the proton, let's talk about proton. How do proton make up? Make up up quark, up quark, and down quark. And neutron, up quark, down quark, down quark. So how many quark? Three quark. Is baryon made of three quark? Yes. Then baryon have, has to be proton. Is the neutron also made of three quark? Yes. All right, so the proton and neutron is baryons. Thank you. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.